how to fix the snoo. So our snoo started making some jerky movements and squeaky noises. So we fixed it once and we're going to show you how to fix it start to finish. So you'll need dental floss, a couple of bobby pins, some o-rings, those are from Amazon, a screwdriver, and a... a okay. Remove the screws. The screws have a plastic washer, so make sure you don't lose it. And then we're going to remove the plastic buckles all around the edge. Remove the screws from underneath the buckles. And then remove the mesh hooks underneath. We're going to lift off just that top metal cover. And then you'll see the inside. The blue tape is where we fixed it last time. Next, we're going to detach these three cords. One, two, three. Now yeah, we're going to feed them back down. Okay. We can take a video of this. Okay, we good? Okay, see how the cords need to be fed through back down? So we have to remove this second platform. Pulling? No. Let's see. Right. Those are the cords. So when we fixed this the first time, this gold piece had one thick O-ring that had gotten worn down. So what we did was we replaced it with two. And so the reason why our snooze started making noise again was one of them popped off. So you can see that there's only one left here. Okay, another thing that's good to test is to make sure that all the O-rings in the inner side of the snoo are also not compromised. Okay. So in our case, because the snoo was jerky and noisy, we're just going to replace the O-ring here. If you have an original snoo, you'll likely notice that your O-ring is frayed and just like, I don't know, used. And so this is where we're going to be replacing the O-ring. And then the next part is pretty important. We're going to talk about how we align these so that we can actually align these brown pieces so we can actually put the snoo back together. Okay, so to understand the mechanics of this, this is the roller, this is the sensor. Mm -hmm and the roller is rolling back and forth on this metal piece here, which is how it gets worn down over time. And then those teeth right above it is what is going in the sensor area. Mm -hmm. And that determines, uh, that determines how much the snoo is moving. So this next part is a little bit tricky. So this brown piece it moves and you see that there's three holes here. Those three holes have to align with these three holes on the underside. But the problem is when you place this large piece down, it's, it's really tough to align them since those brown pieces slide back and forth. And so this is where we are going to be using the bobby pins and the floss to essentially thread through these holes at the top to make sure that this brown piece can be aligned with these three holes. And I'll show you this in a second. So we have our bobby pin and our floss. The bobby pin essentially acts as a needle. So if you have a needle and thread, that works too. So what we're trying to do is we need to align this brown piece, this middle thick piece, and this metal, this metal top. So the way we are going to do this is we are going to thread thread this floss through all three pieces so that we can ooh, so that we can get them aligned so that we can screw them back together. So we're going to go through the metal piece first and then we're going to go through the white piece 
And then we're gonna go through that brown piece down there. And then we're gonna go back up. So that third hole on the brown piece, we're gonna go back up through all three of them. So. Through the brown piece. going through the brown piece and then through that white piece and then through the metal piece. Okay. And then so you can see how the mm -hmm. floss mm -hmm. has threaded all three of them together mm -hmm. so that when we pull on the two tail ends of the floss that brown piece will be aligned with those three holes there, and then we can screw everything together. Mm -hmm. So then we're gonna pull those mm -hmm. wires back through where they came from and reconnect them. So you have to make sure those brown pieces are somewhat on their track. They don't have to be aligned with the three holes, but they do have to be on that track so that this middle, this middle panel will realign and go back down. And so see, we're gonna reconnect these wires here. One. Two. Be careful because they're pretty fragile. We had to do some soldering Oops. the first time That's around. Fine. So we've aligned the holes with the string We've uh, taped down the wires. With the string pulled taut, screw the middle screw into the lower bracket. Do this on both sides. At this point, it's good to run a test run to make sure everything's working smoothly. Uh, we still left the strings in just in case uh, there were any issues. Uh, but with the snoo sack in and it plugged, we're seeing that it's moving smoothly. There's no strange noises and everything looks good to go. At this point, we're gonna cut the strings and replace the uh, plastic mesh pieces and put the snoo back together. Kind of a pain, but go ahead and replace those plastic buckles and the screws. And we are fixed.